So after beating the Welsh team in the second qualifying round of the Champions League, I'm referring them to Welsh team because I forgot their name. I think it's TNS, but I'm not sure. Here we are with another Brit, well, not British because they come from Ireland, but they speak English. So let's say they're like from there. Yeah, they are from the Republic of Ireland. They're called Andalk. And today it's a double bill. The first one is home. The second one is away. Can we make it through the next round? We'll see. Hey guys, this is Jerry D and welcome back to another episode of Road to Glory. We are here in Belgrade, Serbia with our mighty Restar Belgrade. And since the last time you and I were together, I played only one game of camera and we drew 2-2 two -two home to Radnički. We went 1-0 down in the 12th minute and then we scored in the 51st minute. They scored in the 62nd minute. We drew in the 64th and then it was like a bombardment on their goal. But... We, we, we just didn't manage to score. I played the heavily rotated squad. Basically, I played the same squad that we played against TSN or TNS. TNS? TNS, yeah. So, yeah, but it's it's fine. It's fine. I wanted to keep everyone fully fit for the Dundal game. So, here we are for the Dundal game. We're playing the first leg home. And uh, this is the formation we're going with. Mikai, Pavlovic, Vikari, Pankov, Kumic, Mila, Racic, Vukanovic, Ivanovic, Kristovic and Tedic. So off we go. This is a doable um, draw. This is a doable draw according to my opinion. Obviously this is football manager so everything can happen on football manager. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're better than Dundalk. I'm pretty sure better than Dalk, and hopefully we can get a uh, a good a good result here at home, and especially without conceding, um, we would have an arm and a leg in the next round, guys. So let's go, let's go to the pitch and see what happens. Here we are, guys, seconds away from kickoff. So off we go. Let's have our assistant to give them a nice good pep talk, and here we are. This is the third qualifying round of the Champions League. And uh, if we go through this round, we can play, let's see if I can remember, or Spartak Moscow or Spartak Prague. So either a Russian team or a Czech team. So it's still doable. We were lucky not to get like the sorts of Ajax like in the first season or any other very good team. So um, yeah, oh my God. Oh Jesus! Fourteen minutes into the match, and they've hit the post on their first, on their first highlight here. So before we think about playing Spartak Moscow or Slavia Prague, we have to win against Dundalk, which it's proving to be a bit of a complicated thing. Come on, I'm sure we're better than them. Come on, guys. And we're playing in, on, on our best with our best team. So come on, we should win this. No problems. So, Milla passes past his opponent, then opens on the left to Kumic. Kumic with the cross, the header from Tedic goes over the bar and wide as well. <coughs> it was our first highlight. Now, Dandalk, the pass gets intercepted. Now, Kumic who finds help in Milla in the center of the pitch. Milla advances with the ball. Opens to Kristovic on the left. Kristovic stops the ball, crosses it into Vukanovic. Vukanovic. What the hell? I saw that Tedic headed the ball, but it was. Let me see what happened again here because I'm not sure. Kristovic receives the ball, stops it, crosses it in. Vukanovic with the header. Tedic heads the ball. The keeper got the ball, and then somehow. He let it go off his hands because the ball was in his hands already. But anyway, I'm not complaining. 1-0. Let's see if we can score another one immediately. Pavlovic. Racic. Milla. Milla is always in the center of the of, uh, of our maneuver. So that's good. Vukanovic crosses it in. Kumic makes them two. Make, we score two in like three minutes here. A quick double fire. Is it double fire or quick? I don't know. Two goals in two minutes. That's that's what happened, basically. 
<laughs> so yeah, okay, things are going well now after a dodgy start to this match. We now lead 2-0. Um, let's encourage them. Let's tell them that we're very pleased with what we saw. And off we go. Obviously, we demand more because we need more goals. At least another goal. Without conceding, that is. Okay, so CSK... Actually, it wasn't CSK Moscow. It was CSK Sofia. So, they are losing to Slavia Prague. Hmm. Corner. Mila. Pankov. Ivanic shoots. And what a goal from Ivanic. Second goal of the season. He scored in the last match against Radnicki, just as he came on, because I swapped him with uh, Simeone in the second half. And there it is, what a goal! Pankov with the assist. Ivanic beats the keeper from outside the box and makes them three for us. And now it's a landslide. Come on. Mila with another corner. This time tries to find Stedic, but the ball gets headed out. Kristovic gives it to Ivanic, who stops, sees Pavlovs. Pavlov, not Pavlovs. <laughs> Racic. <laughs> Pavlovic again, who gives it to Pankov. Back to Ivanic, back to Pankov, back to Racic, back to Pankov. We're playing flipper here. Short passes, keeping the ball, keeping possession, waiting until the right moment. This probably is the right moment. Milla. Crosses it in, Tedic gives it back to Racic, Racic with the shot from outside the box, it goes wide. We could have done much better there, I think. But anyway, we are 85 minutes into the match now, and it looks as if it's gonna end 3-0. 3 minutes of injury time, there it is, done deal, 3-0, we didn't concede, we won. Which is good, which is good, so now... We're going to play TSC, who are second. Actually, they are first, probably. Let's have a look. Um, competitions. No. Okay, they dropped points. Okay, so we are second. Partizan are first. We are playing fifth in the league. Home. I think. Is it home? No, it's away. So, give me some time. I'm going to play TSC and then come back for the second match against Dundalk. See you there. Okay, so we played TSC in between the two matches. Well, between the two matches, um, I, we still have to play the second match. But we went down against TSC very early. And then a header from Tedic in the sixth minute gave us the momentarily draw. Then, I believe it's Kristovic this time. Yeah, Kristovic with an assist from Tedic. What an assist actually from Tedic makes it 2-1. Then a penalty from Pankov. Who scores his third of the season and then last but not least um tedic tedic again with a brace scores his fourth tedic is amazing guys tedic is amazing um and yeah we we won four nil so happy days i mean i got a bit scared when we went down and like in the very beginning of the match but we're doing fine. We are topping the table with Chukarecki and Partizan on equal points. Four games played each, 10 points each. We've got the better goal difference, so that's why we're topping it. But um, yeah, now off to Dundalk. This is the this is the formation we're going with. Basically, I had to change um, Mila because he's injured for six weeks because he twisted an ankle. So Vulic will come in for him. For the rest, the same. Mikai, Pavlovic, Vikari and Pankov, Kumic, Vulic, Racic and Vukanovic, Ivanic behind Kristovic and Tedic. So the, the more they play together, these this Kristovic and this Tedic guy, the more they play together, the better they get because uh, watching them it's uh, it's a joy honestly it's a joy hopefully man united man city um will will keep him at us for quite a long time i don't think he's man city material obviously but that's good for us cuz he's serving our he he's serving us very well so Kumic with the corner crosses it in kristovic opens the score sixth goal of the season nikola kristovic who basically shenzen offered six million for him they gave us six million for him now just just a few a few football manager days ago um basically between the the first leg of the dundalk match and the game in the league and we refused obviously and they also want pavkov um not pavkov pankov which they think they offered 3.9 million i refused pankov wanted a new contract which i gave him 
he's our captain he's our 15 goal scoring defender guys so <laughs> yeah but um we're leading one nil and four nil on aggregate now it's a highlight for Dundalk. They cross it in and was he offside? I have my doubts. Let me see it again. No, 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 no. No, he wasn't no, he was not, he was not. The A were the AI when it comes to offsides works very good. Um so yeah. One one. Let's do one more. Come on. Williams another free kick he crosses it in and this time the header goes over the bar i think in the goal the our keeper could have done a bit better there but anyway let's see what um, our future opponents are doing oh slavia praga leading training on aggregate so we're facing slavia praga in the next round if we manage to pass this round <laughs> that is because there's still 45 minutes to play Vukanovic, Racic loses the ball to Sedlier. Sedlier advances on the left, but Racic got back to him. Oh my God, he dispossesses him again. Now he crosses it in. Okay, easy peasy. Who's who's injured? Vulic is injured, so we we'll put in Simeone. This is not the end of the highlight. The highlight continues with Pankov, who gives it to Pavlovic, who opens on the left to Kumic. Kumic gives it in the center to Ivanic. Pavlovic again, who plays it back to our keeper. And here we go again. This time with Vukanovic on the right, who cuts in, stops, tries to serve Kristovic. The pass gets intercepted. Now Hoban enters the box. He's one against three. He shoots the keeper, saves it into a corner. Um... <sighs> Come on, guys! Come on! We're, we're we're like we've let off the gas pedal here a bit, and they're now putting us under pressure. Williams with a free kick, he crosses it in the header, and they scored their second with Hoban, Patrick Hoban, with his twelfth of the season. Scores the second goal for Dundalk. We're still leading four two on aggregate, but. I was hoping we could win this match or at least not lose it. CSK Sofia scored. I I really doubt they will score again. Or like Oh, because they got oh Jesus Christ. They got a player injured on this oh injured. I thought he was he, I, I thought he was sent off anyway. Williams with the cross Ooh, it's 86 minutes on the clock. Maybe we can do some changes here. We put Tedic off and we put the Rodriguez in. And uh, hmm. let's put Pavkov in for Vukanovic. Yep, yeah, why not? Why not? We lost this tie, guys. We lost this game, but we won on aggregate. So now. We are through to the playoff of the Champions League in which we will face off Slavia Prague. Volic injured for seven days, four to seven days, fine. Yep, we will play Slavia Prague in the Champions Cup. And uh, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. I think it's doable, but still, they're a very good team. They're, it's like a 50-50 match, I believe. It's like a 50-50 match. So, yeah. In the next episode, we're going to play. It's going to be a double bill against Slavia Praga. Until then, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did so, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. My name is Jerry D. And until next time, bye-bye.